Jesus Christ! Dad? What the hell was that? That wasn't Siren Head! <laughs> I was about to say, let's try that again, except for this time, we're gonna keep an eye out when we do the little funny mini games, but no, there's no keeping eye outs. That would be why I'm not gonna go hide in the corn. Hi. What's up, guys? Welcome to a terrifying meat megaphone filled episode of Three Random Games. That's right, the theme for today is Siren Head, and we'll start things off with a game called Siren Head Field. I'm not 100% sure how a loud 40 foot tall monster has managed to keep himself secret in a cornfield, but that's just my luck. Oh, it's a foggy field. Okay, it's not always like this, okay? I stand my ground argumentatively not literally i'm gonna hide in those plants the first chance i get i'm gonna be a needle in your haystack you stupid salami speaker you can show yourself now i, I know you're out there it's not a t-rex rolling around with a boom box let's just get this over with hi i really wish the city hadn't chosen this exact spot to test out their new wireless power wires no Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, I thought I was dead already, but it was just the monster teabag nightmare again. Day one, because we've got a couple of days of this, apparently. Isn't that just great? Wake up your parents. Mom, I had the monster teabag nightmare again. I'd like to sleep with you and dad. We're not the Adams Farm, are we? Uh, Mom, there's also glowing font out in the field. You might want to get your gun. And while you're at it, some breaching charges for this freaking door because nothing is working. Is this where I die? Like, not at the hands of a giant monster, but locked in my room like an idiot? Do you think it was the font that killed them? Okay, I'd like to leave now. <laughs> Why can't I leave? Does it need a capital E? Nothing is working. Let's just say that hypothetically, Siren Head is out there, and he did turn my parents inside out. Is there any way I could get you to go out there and talk to him? <laughs> Maybe we can form some kind of parlay. I know you're not exactly a speaker, but you've got speakers. What? Could you repeat that? Oh, now you're not going to say anything. I'm trapped. I, I feel like I have to be missing something here. Like, can I write in my diary? Can I go back to bed? It looks like I pissed myself in terror, which makes sense. I'm not pissing myself now. Oh. Oh, of course. I needed a flashlight to unlock my door. Why would it tell me to press E on the door if I needed a flashlight? I, okay. Uh, mom? Someone's been writing on the walls again. Paper airplane plus click equals confused siren. Oh. He's a fan of paper airplanes, huh? Oh. Uh, Mom? I'm starting to think I might want to get that TV ready to parlay. Oh, come on. This is just the worst. Anything going on in here? Oh, I won't need to use you anytime soon. My bed has already been completely destroyed. Uh, I don't want to go outside. Why would I? It's the middle of the night. And the house is, oh, the house isn't safe. The house isn't 
even kind of safe. Do we have a basement? Oh, here we go. This might be... This is locked. We, we clearly have to have a lock to the basement, right? We, we have to be able to... Oh, oh come on. <laughs> this is just the worst. Is there anything in the fridge? There's a paper airplane in the fridge. Oh, right. They confused Siren Head. Nice, refrigerated, cool, fresh, crisp airplane. Man, oh man, we really did not want those cows getting out. Or maybe we're keeping the paper airplane harvest in. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Please tell me there's someone in here to help me. No, it was cows. I don't think they're going to get out now. <laughs> this sucks. Why would he kill the cow? Come on. Who doesn't like a good moo moo? Okay, well, I've got four paper airplanes. Oh, no, make that five. You can tell this is a good one because it's constantly hovering. Beautiful. All right, let's go see what the cornfield has to say. Find your parents in the field. Why? We already know that they're inside out somewhere. I'm not really curious what mom's spleen looked like. I would much rather cower in the basement, but no, apparently that isn't an option. You would be safe from Siren Head in a basement, right? And again, I thought indoors was safe for him for the longest time, and evidently not. That's a, a dead end. We're not going to use the word dead end around here, okay? That is a living end. Yeah, that, that, that's a safety end. Oh! I, I don't think I can turn off my flashlight, and I don't know if moving matters, but I'm just going to keep on moving. Just keep on trucking. Yeah. Needle in a haystack. Like I said, what do we have here? Uh. Why did Dad have some kind of mini game ATM set up in the cornfield? Can I die right now? Is, is that a thing? Oh, crap. Uh. Why is this? There we go. Okay, good. One of three keys solved. I'm gonna ask you again. Why did Dad have this set up in the cornfield? That doesn't make a lick of sense. Oh, no, can't hide back there. Come on. Paper airplane or an exit? A, a direction to move in? A door to open? No? Okay, great. I guess I'm going back the way I came. Be one of those living ends have opened up. Oh, no, never mind. I don't think I went this way. So we want to go over there. Can I really not just... Why can't I hide in the plants? That'd be so much better. Keep an eye out. He actually could sneak up on me out here. That's the worst part. Uh, do I have a sprint? I do have a sprint. I'm not gonna use the sprint. The crows are telling me not to use the sprint, okay? I'm thinking it might raise attention by birds, right? Because birds are fans of yelling at sprinters. Ooh. Mom? Was that your spleen that I hear? I think I need to go this way. I think we saw something over this. Oh, we got the power lines. Okay. Immense force pulling my body apart, huh? Well, we'll see about that. No, the cows. Are you okay? I think it's probably okay. They're just napping. Everything is fine. Please tell me this is where I came. No, it's not where I came from. Okay. Uh. Just gonna do some quick math. <laughs> uh. Yellow minus pink equals two. That's. Can I exit? Exit puzzle. Can I exit puzzle? It's not giving me an exit puzzle option. Am I dead? What's happening right now? I think I got turned inside out while doing math. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Dad? What the hell was that? That wasn't Siren Head! <laughs> I was about to say, let's try that again, except for this time, we're gonna keep an eye out when we do the little funny mini games, but no, there's no keeping eye outs. That would be why I'm not gonna go hide in the corn. Hi. I still don't understand how to throw planes. I've got five of them. 
Oh, I don't like that. That's too dark. We're just gonna, uh, air, airplane, airplane, airplane! Do you hear my clicking? Am I just forgetting something? It, it doesn't make any sense! Go away, there we go. Oh, right on top of the thing that I need. Wonderful. That's just the pigs. The pigs got out, not a big deal. Not a, not a big deal. Planes, 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 planes. Okay, you know what? You can pick me up and shove me right up your giant meaty ass. Siren Head may have eaten my parents, but he didn't take out the internet. So after a little searching, I found out that this is wrong. Somehow, it's actually R to throw a plane. I could just picture Siren Head reaching into my house thinking, heh heh heh, this is gonna screw with him as he writes something on my wall with little schmutz on his finger. But now that we can actually defend ourselves, let's try this again. Pig, stop it! Okay, this is honestly just corn strolling simulator. Why doesn't Siren Head care about Piggy? Why doesn't he go after him? Oh, okay. I think we're going in the right direction. This looks big and promising. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. What is that? Uh, hey. Oh, it opens a gate. That's probably how I get out. Okay. Where is he? Is he nowhere near? Don't see him in any direction. Okay, uh, mini game. What have we got? It's the same one. Okay, uh,. Just gonna work you down, crap, uh, like this and that, and there we go. One of three, great. <sighs> Batman says we don't need to be afraid of arms like you. Nope, nope, you're not doing it for me. I'm a man on a mission. I am set finding these keys. Here we go, okay. What is this? There is a blank in the aquarium. Uh, oh, a uh, uh, fish? Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. Why? Why does he keep them next to the keys? <laughs> He's nowhere around. Good, good. And the last one's over that way somewhere. Maybe? Uh, I think that was the way I came. I'm gonna go this way. This, this, or is this the way that I came? Nope, definitely wasn't the way that I came. Okay, we're going that way. The good news is, I think I found the final key. But the bad news is, someone really doesn't want me playing these mini games. <laughs> Maybe I can just... Oh, okay, okay, you know what? Why don't you just go over that way? Yeah, do a little something like that. I'll be over here, hopefully playing whatever this is. <gasps> oh no, the quick math. Okay, yellow minus pink is two. And we've only got a couple of numbers, so what minus what is two? Uh, uh, five would be, oh no, four, four is yellow. So pink is two, and then blue minus pink is three, so that would be uh, five, and then uh, purple times pink is six, so that would, purple times pink is six. Pink is two, three, three, Piggy, stop, stop it, Piggy. Okay, I gotta find the exit. Piggy, Piggy, oh, okay, they're actually, Identifying where the exit is. That's not bad. I've got one paper plane left and a dream. If I can finish the first level, I'm gonna call this a victory. I don't care what happened to my parents. You guys need to see them turned inside out a week later? No, me neither. We're just gonna get over there in one piece. What? No, no, you don't see me. You, you, you definitely don't see me. Huh? Run, 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 run. No, what? There's no way. There's no way you and your glitchy, meaty hands just grabbed me. Please tell me. I swear to God, if this doesn't say day, I mean, it doesn't matter even if it says day two, I'm still gonna leave. But okay, day two, great. Well, you know what? I'm gonna settle down and just wait for my parents to come back. Three random games. Believe it or not, our next game is called Siren Head. Okay, I, I know it's not the most creative thing, but I think this might be one of the very first Siren Head games ever made, if not the first. I've talked about this in past episodes where I have a hard time calling it a game because I know that it's really, really short, but that just makes it perfect for three random games. So let's go and find ourselves a Minecrafty Siren Head. Oh, this has some strong PS1 vibes.
<laughs> I like it. Okay, so we're some kind of forest ranger, maybe? Who's just out of reach of his truck, and as we all know, it's impossible to deal with the parking gate. Pine Ridge hiking trail. No vehicles allowed. Okay, so we're just following the signage and using a flashlight in the middle of the day. That's not a good sign. <gasps> okay, well... I was gonna say, I'm seeing a bunch of high walls, which means I'm kind of trapped in here. But the sounds are also kind of concerning, as are the random clothes lying around, and the giant blood stains. <laughs> oh no, maybe that's not blood. Maybe it's just a, a giant dirty claw mark. Yeah, yeah, that that's gonna, that's a blood stain. That's for sure. Maybe? No, that might be dirt as well. One would expect to find dirt in the woods. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking if it gets any darker, I'm just gonna dig a hole and hide down there for the night. You know, we can go full-blown Minecraft. I don't need to be out here. I don't need to be worrying about bad people. Or bad siren heads. Okay. I don't think that's dirt. No, that's not dirt. <laughs> that's blood leading to people bits? What am I looking at right now? It looks like a two-dimensional jester. Oh, no, that's people bits. That's meaty. Uh, crap? Is this... This isn't what I want, right? This seems bad. <laughs> As a forest ranger, I'm gonna say this is a problem. I have to get back to the truck. Now, okay, we just need to have our eyes zoom in on it a little bit. I see. Uh, got anything to say about that? No? Okay then, let's try to juke them around the trees. Go, go, go. I wonder what I would have said if I looked at the blood patches and stuff like that. Probably nothing. Maybe we could take a look. You know what? We got a whole bunch of time, right? It's not like he's directly on our butthole. You got anything to say about this big guy? I have to get back to the truck right now. Okay. That's reasonable. What you saying back there? Oh, now you stop talking. Of course. Why does he constantly do that? Nope, still gotta go back to the truck. Okay, I think I might have missed a very important part of this game. All of the interactivity was filled with my stupid mumbling. <laughs> That's fine. Screw it. I got back to my truck. See you later. <laughs> drive away. Drive away. Just drive away. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. We didn't get to see it, but I drove away. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? It's not much of a game, but at the same time, it, it, it's like the blueprint of Siren Head. It's really cool. Three random games. Our final game for today, by popular demand, is called Siren Head Dating Sim. Because of course, someone, somewhere, wants to stick their dick in that. Shame on you, internet. Come to think of it, I have no idea how this game is gonna play out. Like, are we just gonna meet him while out for a stroll in our cornfield? Or is it gonna be like a, a dating app? Or a dating website? No, I'm gonna give him a username. My name is BootyMuncher69. How could you say no to that? I decided to start my day with a walk in the woods. Of course you did. There's an abandoned railroad track behind my house. It's perfect for walks. People use it often, but lately I haven't seen anyone around. Is it because of the bees? Something tells me that's not bees. What? A siren sound? It's rare to get a tornado around here. Suddenly, out of nowhere, <laughs> I figured with the photographic background that it would be a realistic looking siren head, but no, we've got this MS Paint doodle. Ah! You fall to the ground. Siren head? This is it. 
this is how I die. Wait, we know about Siren Head? So he's an internet meme in this reality and we just encountered him out in the woods? We've got a wide variety of options to choose from with either God damn it, no, it can't end like this, or I just wanted ice cream. I kind of like that last option. It's like a, a bit of a leading question. You know, maybe then he'll ask us to go get ice cream. Assuming it is a uh, he. They cut you off just above the junk, Siren Head. Are you a woman? That would work a whole lot better for me. I, I just wanted ice cream. <laughs> Siren Head stops. Stares at you. Ooh. Siren Head lifts you up and gives you a nice overview of the forest. Oh, I thought he was like six feet tall, judging by the perspective of everything around him, but apparently not. Wow, this view is beautiful. I'm no longer at all concerned about the 40 foot tall monster that's got me. You and Siren Head walk off. I don't think I'm doing much walking. I think Siren Head is carrying me away to the ice cream parlor. Oh my god, that actually worked. <laughs> I know how to swoon Siren Head to an ice cream store. Oh, do you want some ice cream too, Siren Head? Woo. Okay, this voice acting, great. So I, I, I don't need to deliver your lines, do I? Fantastic. You assume he's saying, yes, I would very much like some ice cream booty much or 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I got from Woo. Oh my god, I'm gonna choke to death on the stupidity before Siren Head gets to eat me. Or lick me like an ice cream because we're on a date. Don't think I didn't notice that tongue. Okay, let's order some. The ice cream man looks at you both with a terrified look. I can't imagine why. What would flavor would you like to get? What would flavor would you like to get? Someone has a bit of an ice cream headache already. Uh, vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Siren Head looks like a bit of a chocolate boy to me, hopefully. Chocolate, please, for Booty Muncher 69. <laughs> totally didn't intend to do that. Siren Head slowly turns his head towards you. Uh-oh. You don't know what he's saying. But you think it's somewhere along the lines of WTF? You know I'm allergic to chocolate. Yeffed up. Your head explodes and you die. <laughs> and then Siren Head dies from a chocolate allergy. I hope you're happy, you monster. Game over. Wow. Can we get a, a slow round of applause for this absolute masterpiece in writing? So if I hadn't mentioned anything about ice cream in the woods, would Siren Head have eaten me? And I don't mean like booty muncher style eating either. I mean like turning me into Siren Head poop. Also, I feel the need to point out the ice cream parlor is closed right now. So my immersion's completely ruined. I think Siren Head wants strawberry. Hopefully strawberry, please. You have no idea what he said, but you think it's somewhere along the lines of, I would like strawberry too, please. Siren Head puts his ice cream into his mouth. Oh, he actually did. And it is a he. They're saying his. Great. Going out on a date with Siren Head and his giant 40 foot tall dong. He seems to be enjoying it. That's an enjoyment woo or not. You have no idea what he said, but you think it's somewhere along the lines of, please tell me your life story? What? Wow, on the first date? I, I just wanted you to eat my ass. <laughs> uh, no thanks. I really don't want to. Please tell me I can say no to Siren Head. You have no idea what he's saying, but you think it's somewhere along the lines of, man, I really thought I could trust you. Oh well, time to die. Come on, dude, your head ex your head ex ex explodes and you die. Game over. Siren Head, no means no, okay? That, that, that's not cool. Well then sure, I'll tell you. We'll start with the origin of my username. Well, I had a really happy childhood, except for one thing. When I was young, my dog ran away and never came home. I miss him. Siren Head stays quiet for a second, until... <laughs>
That's terrifying. <gasps> Sparky! You sound just like him! How would you remember what your childhood dog's bark sounds like? Really? Wait a minute. Does that mean you killed my dog, you bastard? Or that's adorable? That does mean he killed your dog, but... I don't think we really need the answer of that, because then he's gonna kill you too, so that's adorable! Nobody have ever done something so thoughtful for me. I think my brain is starting to get a bit of an ice cream free. Siren Head stays silent for a moment. He starts blushing. I don't want to picture all of that meat blushing. You feel yourself start blushing as well. Is this what love feels like? This was a lovely date, Siren Head. I hope we can hang out again soon. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but you think it's somewhere along the lines of I love you again on the first date. Come on. I, I love you too, Siren Head. I, I, I love you too. Just don't eat any part of me but the butts. And there you have it. We lived happily ever after in the most confusing game I have ever played. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. I've been really wanting to record more Three Random Games videos, but I just have a hard time finding three games. And I also wanted to play more Siren Head, because every Siren Head video I've done has been really fun, and you guys have really enjoyed it. And there's so many Siren Head games, but they're all, like, really small, and only last, like, five to ten minutes. So, this was perfect. You know, if you guys want to see more, as always, recommend some games, leave a like in the video, let me know, all that kind of stuff, and then I'll return to... Hopefully not date Siren Head ever again. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.